piece of furniture will also help give your home a fresh new look. And you'll find the newest pieces at the Interior Design Show in Toronto this weekend. Here with a quick preview, interior designer Brian Gletstein. <laughs> It's great to get out and see what's out there. Often yes. you can see a really good variety at trade shows. You've brought some key pieces for us right now to talk about. Yeah, the amazing thing about sh these shows are that they have trade day and consumer day. And what's important about that is that when a show has a trade day, you know it's the newest of the newest. Right. Because designers and architects want to see the latest products. That's what at drives them to the shows. Yeah, you want to be dazzled a little bit and see what's out there on exactly. the market. Exactly. So you're seeing the newest finishes, the newest products, the newest newest furniture, things like that. And some of it is yes. just in its test to see what the reaction will be. Ah. So some of the product may not even be available yet, but you're getting the inside of what the trends are. So when it comes to lighting, I mean, yes. oh my goodness, it has evolved so much. The, these two uh, standalone lamps are so cool for a lot of different reasons. Yes, this is called Taper Moon Skylight from Zed, and it's mm -hmm. LED, and that's where we're seeing the yeah. biggest change, is LED lighting has transformed the industry of lighting. Yeah. So basically, it's these paper, it's almost like origami. So look at this. You can, because it's LED, you don't have the heat situation. Exactly. So you can use paper and you can build this. You can do whatever you want. You can turn you it that it. way. Let me just move that on there. You could do it this way. You can, so you can really cool. transform these any way you want. So LED, yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that with uh, halogen bulbs no. that were hot with paper. That's right. And this thing, you can dim it up. It goes up and down. Um, we always talk on the show, all of your lighting should really be on a dimmer. That's just The like... older you get, the lower the light. <laughs> yeah. That is the key. Turn it down. Turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. I love that. You can build your own thing. But it's true. With lighting, yeah. you want obviously brighter during the day and dimmer yep. at night. You don't want the same light level. No. Yeah, now, you set the mood. Exactly. This is the Y Rocker from Object and Ideas, and this is really a sculpture. That's beautiful. Look at this. So it has this leather sling, which yep. is almost like a little hammock, and then you've got this beautiful wood frame. So we're seeing a lot of furniture that is very sculptural, a lot yes. of furniture that's art. So we, we call this sort of... Um, uh, signature pieces that you want in your house. So every house should have one or two pieces that are really special, that are comfortable but also special, whether it's a table or a chair or something like you that. You said the key word, comfortable. Sit down, make sure it feels good as well because that looks like heaven, but you want to make sure you actually want to read a book in there as well. And you know me, I love chairs. I love yes. to sit. And you love comfort. I do. So you're a good designer to hire because you're not going to make a house feel like a mausoleum. Well, that's the first thing. The first thing for me is everything has to be comfortable. It's got to be comfortable. I sit on everything and I go to a lot of trade shows yeah. in New York, Milan, Toronto, LA, yes. Paris, and I'll see great stuff. And then I'll sit and go, how do you watch TV in that? How do you sit on this sofa? <laughs> this is not going to work. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah. So for me, it doesn't matter how beautiful it is if it's, it's not comfortable. It's got to be comfy. So this is the swoon chair by Dreschel and we're seeing beautiful. the... Uh, uh, continued trend of that mid-century modern. Yes. Um, this is designed in Copenhagen, so you see the design of that of the northern European countries. Uh, still a very strong trend, that mid-century. And you see this beautiful sort of wide arm. Yes. Um, this is also a chair that's really nice if you live in, uh, or if the room has a lot of windows because it's very light looking. Mm. So in condominiums or houses with windows, you want something light in front of the window and this allows all the light through yeah. and uh, is always neat. It's very neat, and I love the color. Yes. That's very, there's something very calming and beautiful really cool. about that. And this is okay, Garcia what do we have from, here? yes, this is Garcia from Kofo. Mm -hmm. So this is for your foyer. So you have a mirror, you have a bench, yeah. you have this to hide your keys. Oh, good. And for storage, yeah. you can put shoes in there. And these pegs for your coats can be pulled out at any distance you want. Yeah. So it's really a very compact, coat stand, bench, mirror, great for small spaces. So this could be in a front hall or a mud room, anywhere you want to put it. It could even be in a bathroom and you can put towels on it and put things in there. I think this is a great idea. Look at how sleek that is. And so it's sleek. all in one, you know? You fix the makeup. You, you put your towel on here. Yeah. You can keep a few things inside here. You can have some boxes in there with toiletries. Really good. It's a great idea. Very nice. Well, the interior design show kicks off tonight with the hottest new home decor and some superstar designers. Fashion designer Zach Posen will be there showing off his new collaboration with Monogram, and he's going to be in our studio next Thursday. Brian, also a superstar, you're going to be on the stage at IDS this Sunday as well as signing copies of your book, a beautiful book, The Art of Home. You want to chat with Brian. He makes time for everyone, and you're just so lovely and gracious. Thank you.